Morning everyone. It's a Sunday morning, absolutely beautiful outside. Gonna go and take the dogs for a walk. Let's get them ready. Up. Good boy. Benny. We've now arrived at Beckles Marsh. Now I'm going to take the dogs for a walk. I'm going to try and smash through this bit pretty quick because they're getting really impatient and whining. Does my dog know its name? Now we know they don't communicate via using language as complex as we do. However, they do use behaviour and stimuli. This doesn't mean they can't understand our language. They can understand up to 165 different particular words that we speak. This means we can train a conditioned response to words that we speak. For example, we can shout their name and they can respond to that name with an unconditioned response. Let's get the boys out the back and we'll have a look at today and creating a conditioned response within our dogs. Also, the name of your dog is something that you're going to use constantly and is something that you really want a sharp response to. Let's move. do this no more we're gonna have to do some training we're out on the walk in Beckles it's quite hard to find somewhere that's not windy and is actually shaded out of the wind I'm wearing my sunglasses because I am actually crying it's so windy um, I just want to say that dogs must get things wrong to get things right so when you start off and your dogs not responding this is absolutely fine uh, what you're trying to do is just reward when they do respond and you want to reward when they respond really really well you want to praise them loads treat them loads really make sure they feel special when they've responded uh, also what I'd like to bring into it is tone you can't have a dull tone because the animals tend not to respond like why would you go to your parents or someone above you like your boss if they're being really down in the dumps and they'll like, do this do that you don't want to do it anyway we'll move on as you can see in the last clip, using a really dull tone is absolutely terrible. It doesn't tend to work, the dogs don't really respond to it. However, if you use a really uplifting tone and you make yourself sound really happy, exciting, thrilling, people and dogs would like to do more things for you. Benny! Yes! Yeah, boy. Start somewhere with minimal distractions. I mean, you want to start somewhere where the dogs spend most of their time, uh, where the dogs know the smells really, really well, for example, in the house. However, you don't want to do this around tea time or breakfast time. You need to have your dogs 100% concentration. Whether you choose just to call their name randomly throughout the day, and hopefully you get that 100% response rate will be absolutely brilliant. You want to try and make it so your dog gets it right. I mean, don't stick to in really difficult situations to get it right straight away. The easier you make it, the easier it will be for the dog to get it right. Benny, yes. Benny, yes. Gonzo, good boy. Gonzo, good boy. Let's ramp it up a little bit. What you're looking for now is a really sharp response. So you don't want to be waiting a couple of seconds before your dog looks round. I mean, you want to be calling their name and then bam, there it is, instant response. Uh, don't try and ramp it up by taking them outside yet. Keep it in the house, but what you want is that 100% response rate and you want it instantly at the click of your fingers. Gonzo, good boy. Gonzo, good boy. Now you're confident head outside. Now I mean by confidence when you've got your dog a hundred percent response rate and they're responding every time to when you call in their name start introducing more distractions head out to the local park or even perhaps just head out in the back garden add in distractions and uh, see if you can still get that hundred percent response rate as you tie these new places with new distractions you may not have the 100% response rate. However, that's what you're gonna aim for. And what you'll do is when you add up the distractions a little bit, you'll stop there, get it at 100% response rate, and then carry on and try it again, try it again, try it again, until you've got your dog responding in the most difficult of situations. 
Gonzo! Penny! Yes! Gonzo! Penny! Gonzo! Good boy! It's not going to be something that happens overnight. It's going to take weeks, months, perhaps even years to get it spot on. I mean, to be able to get an unconditioned response popped inside your dog's head. So as soon as you say its name, boom, it reacts instantly. This does take time. The most top of the range trainers, they can get it done in a few weeks perhaps, but we're not all as good as that, including myself. I've got it wrong, no end. Through my mistakes, I have got sort of as good as I am now. Uh, through many more mistakes I shall get better and better as my life goes on. However, start now and get perfect later. Anyway, I think this is the end. Please like, share and comment below if you have any questions. Um, thank you, see you next time.